Hi everyone, it's Ventbot again. I'm here to give you a little tutorial on how to assign roles based on pushing a button. So, I'm going to pull out my Maker Pen by looking at my watch. And then click Backpack. And then under Maker Pen, click Use. It's going to spawn right in front of me. I'll grab it. And I first want to create the role. So I have to install a role chip. So if you look at your watch, you click Create. And if the palette doesn't open up, you can click Open Palette. So I want to go to Gadgets, and then Game Chips. And I'm going to go to Roll Chip. And that's on the second page right here. By the way, if you just move your finger over top of one of the chips, it will tell you what it does. So that's pretty handy. So I'm going to click Close. If I look at my Maker Pen again, it's set to Grid Snapping. So I'm going to set it to Surface, and you'll see that my chip moves to the closest surface. I'm going to put it over here with the other chips. And if we look a little closer, it says New Roll. So if I look at my Maker Pen, I can click Configure, click on the Roll Chip, and then click where it says Modify Roll Name. And I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call it Speed. And then I can click Edit Roll, and it's going to bring up another window. From here, I can make any changes to the role roll that I want. So you'll see under the Shared tab, there's different options that you can choose. Second page, and then under loco, Locomotion, on the first page, is Walk Speed. So I'm going to override the default walk speed and crank it all the way up to 8 meters per second. Now I can click Back and close out of that window. And that's really all I want the, that roll chip to do. So I'm going to close out of that. And now I'm going to spawn in a couple items. I'm going to click Create on my Maker Pen. Go to Props, Dynamic, and I want a button. So I'm going to click Button. Close out my window. Now I want this, I don't want this on the surface here. I want it to spawn right in front of me. So I'm going to change my snapping to grid. If I click there, there's my button. Now I need some way, some action to happen when I push the button. So I'm going to use a roll mapper chip. So that basically assigns the that roll to whoever pushed the button. So I'm going to go to create on my maker pen, open the palette. And this is under the Gadgets tab and Game Chips. So I'm going to go over to the second page and use Roll Mapper Chip. So if I click there, close out of my window, and I'm going to place it right here. So now I have a button and a Roll Mapper Chip. If I look at my Maker Pen, I can click Configure, click on the Roll, maker, roll Mapper Chip, and then there's different modes. So I'm going to choose Add Player Role. So you can see the different modes that we have. For this one, we're going to add the player mode. So I click that. Next option is Role Mapping button. So if I click there, now I have to select which role do I want to add to this user. I want Speed. So if I check Speed, I can close out of there. Now if I click a wire on my Maker Pen, and I move over top of the sort of button that's sticking out of that chip, I can see that that's the player, the green one is Team, and the R is Reset. So I want it to apply to the specific player. Now there's also arrows coming out of my green button. So the first arrow, the red one, is sends a signal when the button is pressed. Green one is while the button is pressed, it sends a signal. And the blue one is when the button is released. So I want something to happen when I push the button. So when I look at my Maker Pen, select wire, I'm going to wire from the red to the red. Now there's one more thing I have to change. I have to configure that push me button.
So I'm going to look at my maker pen, click configure, and I want to send the player as signal output. So I'm going to check that so that it sends which player pushed the button to the mapper chip. So if I let go of my maker pen, you guys can see I'm not moving very fast. I'm regular speed. But if I push this, now I'm moving really fast, super fast. That's because now I have the speed roll. And it's that easy. So we all we did was create a roll chip, create a button, and then create a roll mapper chip. Uh, I hope you guys liked the tutorial. If you did, click like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.